I wish I had some goggles because we are about to do science. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I am gonna be destroying the Makeup Revolution 144 Ultimate Eyeshadow Palette Collection 2018. <sighs> I previously did a full review on this palette, so if you want to see the full review and my opinions on this one, I will be leaving a link down below so you can watch that first so you can see why I'm going to be doing this. It was actually a comment from one of my subscribers that she had the same palette that I did and she felt like she was very unhappy with the quality of the shadows as well, so what she did was she combined a bunch of different shadows and improved the quality. And I thought that was a genius idea because in this palette, you receive way too many of the same shades. So my idea is that I'm gonna combine all of the like shades that you just don't need that many of and a lot of the darker shades to see if I can improve the quality of them because I mean, I am really unhappy with this palette. I am not reaching for it. I'm not gonna use it. I, I had a lot of opinions about it, so just make sure you check out that video and you see the full details about it. So if I can improve the quality of these shadows by destroying and then repressing, that is what I'm gonna be doing today. And perhaps I'm gonna be taking a few shadows that are not similar and combining them to see what kind of magical creation we could make. So this is not gonna be your average destroying video, it is destroying with a purpose. We are gonna to try to improve this palette to see if I can make it more pigmented, be able to work better and all of that. So let's jump right into it. And here is our first mixture. I'm gonna set this aside and we'll do the mixing all together at once. Now with those mixtures set aside, I am gonna do a slightly darker shimmer. shades I am gonna leave this as the second pan gonna set this one aside as well now the next ones in which I want to combine are these darker shades I feel like on their own they are so just kind of like me so I'm gonna combine all of those and they are all so gosh dang similar <laughs> Then here we have the third mixture, which is basically like a very dark, dark brown or almost a black color. All right, let's move it on to our fourth mixture and let's make it a fun colored one. You guys may be screaming at me through the screen, but I am gonna be taking the blue, the pink, the orange, and the purple in this super white shade up here and we're gonna combine it all and see the shade we get. So this is gonna be the mystery shade. And here we have the fourth mixture. I do still have quite a few more pans that I am able to make new shadows with, so I'm gonna keep it going. Now let's take all of these blue ones. Then 
the fifth mixture. slash white slash a little bit of tan in their mixture. That's mixture number six. Next, I'm gonna move on to the transition shade in a way. And here's what I'm thinking is gonna be a cool transition shade mixture. I mean, I honestly have no idea if this is even gonna work, but I'm having a lot of fun making it. And here we have the eighth mixture. All right, next couple mixtures, I am gonna try to make it to 12. I'm gonna take some of the plum shades that are really shimmery. The ninth mixture. Now I'm thinking I'm just gonna go ahead and take some mixtures of shimmery shades because there's so many random ones. Now here we have the 10th mixture. Let's do another shimmery mixture. I think we'll probably have enough to do at least two more different shimmery mixtures. The 11th mixture. All right, so I have quite a few more colors left, but I think I'm just gonna do one more. So I have 12 pans of eyeshadow, and I'm gonna do these more green shades and see what kind of a combo we can get. have it, the 12th mixture. Last minute I decided to take the very lightest blue and two turquoise or sea foam kind of green shades and decide to mix those. So this will be the 13th shade. It'll be slightly smaller but I thought it'd be a cool mixture. Now here is what we have left of this palette. Some of these colors I really enjoy on their own, like this shade and the top row. Those ones have a completely different consistency in the formula and I really like them. So I'm gonna leave those alone. And then there was some random ones left over that in case this works out, I can always mix them together, but they are so similar to the previous ones I've already mixed. So I thought it'd be a little bit too much repeating shadow, so I'm just gonna leave those there for now. And I'm gonna start the mixing process of all of the shadows to try to create the new ones. So I'm gonna start the mixing process and I'm gonna start off with the lightest shimmery shade. I can't exactly remember which ones I did at which point, what number I labeled them, but so I'm just gonna start mixing this. I'm gonna take just the tiniest amount of rubbing alcohol and pour that in with a mixture. And then taking my spatula and starting to mix this around. I may need to add more rubbing alcohol, but I can keep doing that in small amounts so that way I don't pour in too much. So 
So here we have a eyeshadow pan that I have repurposed and I've cleaned and it is ready for me to put it in some more eyeshadow. So to press this shadow, I'm gonna take one of the exact same eyeshadow pans. I'm gonna lay a piece of paper underneath and I'm gonna press the two together. Oh man, that was like it was bleeding. And here I have it, the first eyeshadow pan. I'm grabbing a new mixture. And here we have eyeshadow pan number two. And here we are on to making the third pan. last eyeshadow I'm now gonna thoroughly wash my hands and I'm gonna leave this for about 24 to 48 hours just so they can solidify and all of it dries up so I will be back in one to two days and I am back it has been more than 48 hours it's actually been about five days I want to say this palette was so massive I just simply could not do them all and I didn't have enough pans to be able to mix every single one of the shadows. So I'm gonna be leaving it as is for now. There was a few shadows in which I wanted to leave alone because I really like the quality of those ones. So I'm gonna try to depot those and save them. The other ones I'll see if I end up mixing together later, but I was thinking the video is gonna be so long if I ended up doing all of these and I had to figure out the whole pan situation since I did not have any more. So let's get into what the new palette looks like. Which actually, perfect thing from BoxyCharm this month was a Z palette from Ofra. Well, I guess it's not called a Z palette, it's just an empty palette. Z palette is a brand. So here is the customized palette after it has been mixed, pressed, and dried. I am gonna show you guys so watches, of course. But let's get a little bit closer. Here is what the palette looks like close up. 
There are 13 shadows that I was able to mix together and they are all kind of different. There was so many shimmery shades that the majority ended up being mainly shimmery shades. There are some MAC. So here you guys can see is what the custom palette looks like swatched out. I started with the first row and went left to right and went row by row. And to be 100% honest, I mean, that's not bad at all. I mean, the only one I'm kind of like meh meh about is, of course, this like cranberry shade. That one is not really that pigmented and it does feel a little bit drier. I mean, it, it could definitely be in my pressing technique. I have never mixed and pressed shadows before, so I am in no way, shape, or form saying that I am a professional in doing this. This was pure experimentation, but honestly, the result I am really happy with. I have been testing it out a few different days and I honestly am kind of impressed. Especially when it came to the darker shade, I actually applied this yesterday. So I tried applying the darker shades before with the, just the normal palette, you know, trying to combine all the dark shades since there were so many and some were just so subpar. And it honestly applied really nicely and I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So if you guys have this palette and you are kind of unhappy as well with the quality of the shadows, give it a shot. Try mixing together a few. You do not have to do all and go crazy like I did. Try mixing together one and see if you like it and go from there to see if you can improve the quality of your shadows as well. If you happen to do this, I would love it if you tagged me on Instagram. My handle is Vanessa underscore Lopez 55. I would love to see your guys' custom creations if you are going to be doing this yourself. But this was such a fun kind of science project, science experiment in a way, since we did mix the colors, we pressed them and all that. I like to think of it as science-y, makeup science if you will. If you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like, comment down below, share the video, subscribe. I would really appreciate it. It really helps me out. I post two beauty related videos twice a week. So I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.